through college uh i did not go to post-secondary after high school i hated school it's good 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 okay i hated school uh hated school hated school i wanted to drop out when i was 16 i was working at wendy's at the time and the girl who did the day shift uh was a high school dropout she was in her 20s she said don't drop out of school uh like get your high school diploma at the very least and i took that to heart i listened to her and i did get my high school diploma but the moment i had that motherfucker in my hand i was like fuck you school i'm done um i am somebody who loves to learn but i don't like school because i find school wastes my time so I love to learn. I am self-educated because I learn so much better when I guide my own educational experience. <clears throat> so there has been times when I, I like, listen, I, I did go take sociology at university um, when I was in my late 30s because I thought I want to go do therapy. So I want to go work for somebody. So I need that piece of paper to go get that job. I realized a few years in, I didn't want to work for someone else because of some conversations that I had with people who were actually in the field of psychotherapy. Uh, and I realized, you know what, that's not for me. Working for other people is not for me. And so I dropped out of university because I was gonna start my own business. And me as the hiring agent was not requiring me to show a piece of paper to prove to me that I knew what I was talking about. I already knew I knew what I was talking about. I was just getting that piece of paper to go get the job. So, um, here's the thing when it comes to school don't do it just because everybody else is doing it don't do it because somebody expects you to do it do it because you want to do it because it's going to help you in some way shape or form okay my boyfriend and i are on a break to figure out stuff in our personal lives but i feel like i lost him focus on you my love that's what the break is all about it's for you to focus on you so get no more assholes understand what you should be getting into in a relationship read fix that shit understand what a functional relationship looks like uh how can i help my boyfriend trust me again after cheating we both did it um so basically the two of you need to give each other what each of you needs in order to ease your imaginations so have a talk say what do you need from me uh why am i so mean all the time because you have an overabundance of stress fear and anxiety and you are vomiting onto the people around you instead of understanding how to reduce and deal with your own emotions and behaviors <clears throat> by the way my love who's on a break also be custom made if you don't know what your purpose is because sometimes one of the mistakes that we make is we make our partners our purpose instead of our partners the icing on our cake Fantasy management, that's well put. Hello lovelies, hello, welcome my loves. Is there anybody new? Do you have a newbie? Is there somebody who like caught one of my TikToks today, saw that I was live right now, went, mm, let me go see what that's about. And here you are. Are you a newbie? Say newbie here. We have lots of fun on these lives. You never know. Never know what mama's gonna go off on. Never know. I do lots of Q and A's, answer lots of questions, and then something catches me and boy, do I go off. Hello, newbie. Hello, my newbies. Welcome, my newbies. Yes, me newbie. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Hello, welcome, my loves. If you want a notification when I go live, click my picture here once or twice, you're gonna get a pop-up. In the pop-up is a bell. Click on the bell. When you do that, say, I just did, because we like to know who joins us. Financial troubles have been causing a lot of fights with my significant other. Any tips? Um, honestly, don't be with somebody who is not mature enough to be financially responsible. You cannot, cannot build a life with somebody who's financially irresponsible because you'll be footing the bill, you'll be saving the money, you will constantly be in conflict over the fact that they're not saving money. You will want to do financial um, things that can actually grow and increase your wealth 
and your partner won't be there with you, won't do this with you. In other words, won't build that security with you. So if your partner is financially irresponsible, what you need to do is say, this is not the relationship for me. I need to be with somebody who's financially responsible so I can build a life with them. Uh, newbie, hello love. <clears throat> How do I find my purpose? Which book? The book is custom made. This answers two questions. What is my purpose and how can I monetize it? So you start getting paid doing what you love. I wanted to say you're wonderful reading Fix That Shit. It's helped us so much. I love you. Thank you. Will you go leave a review on Amazon? I have Fix That Shit. Should I have my boyfriend read it too? My husband has never read this book. We haven't had a fight in five years. All you need is one person to do what's in that book. Become the emotional leader and show how it's going to be done in your relationship. Thank you, lovely. Is it okay if your boyfriend spends five hours at a female's house, but he's transparent about it? Of course. Yes. If, like there is such thing as platonic friends. It's okay to have a friend. We don't, we don't have to discriminate against genitalia. Partners playing victim role. What do I do? He is a narcissist. If you are describing your partner as a narcissist, dump the motherfucker. Because you were literally saying this person cares about nobody but themselves and you can't change that. You cannot change that. So if you think your partner is a narcissist, exit the relationship. I just got a message from one of my clients who's doing the five sessions plus support. That means you get my attention when you send me an email. Uh, I need to find a good segue. Nope, just present it. Just present it. No segue needed. She's asking me, how do I have the this is what I want conversation early on in the dating process? Uh, order and fix that shit today. I need to read this. Yes, if you want your relationship with your generous long-term thinker to be amazing, this is the book. Uh, tips on getting your ex back if you think it's meant to be. <clears throat> it can start with a three-part apology. I'm sorry for everything you know you could have done better. I realized that the emotional outcome that had on them, all of it, leave nothing out. This is my plan for not doing this again. My boyfriend ex got married and now he wants marriage. Then she got prego and now prego is this weird. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I ordered my fix that shit and it comes on Friday. Love it. Tips on long distance relationship. I have a manual for you. There's a long distance guide in the link tree in my bio. That's free. Go ahead and download it. Uh, trust is hard but simple and mistrust is easy but complicated. That's a good way of putting it. No segue needed. Uh, open quote. Hey, comma. I just want to say I'm really intent on a long-term committed relationship because I really want open bracket, insert your wants, close bracket, comma, what about you, question mark, close quote. Thank you. My ex is helping me move tomorrow. I want to bring up another chance before we're done. If you want help with that, if you want the script, if you want the how, come get a coaching session. Are you the author of the books being referenced? <laughs> I am the author of all nine of the books that I reference. Yes, I did write all of these books. I am writing my 10th book, which is Fix That Shit for Men. Is there anybody here uh, who wants me to do a brief book walkthrough? Give a short description of what each of my books are about. 
By the way, if you do want to get a coaching session to clarify something, get get your plan, get your next step, um, then go to my bio, click on the link tree and click on the coaching button. Read that page very carefully um, and see if it's right for you. When will Fix That Shift for Men come out in August next month? Yes, please. We got some yeses for a book walkthrough. Uh, I grew up all over Canada. That is awesome. Yes, please do book descriptions. How long can love bombing last? I really don't know. Okay, we have some yeses for the book walkthrough. <clears throat> some yeses for the book walkthroughs. Mentioned you in a video. Is that right? Is that right? Okay, let's do this. So, come back, queen is going to help you get over a breakup, heal your heart, and get ready to get back out there. No More Assholes is going to help you make sure the next person you choose is the right one. No more selfish short-term thinkers. No more bouncing in and out of relationships. Men, I got yours. I got yours. It's called The Perfect Play. No more selfish short-term thinkers. The next one is going to be the right one. Get with a good woman. Uh, then, my ladies, you move on to After the First Kiss. Hi from Maine. Hello. Uh, after the first kiss helps you transition from courtship to reality phase without going into an insecurity phase because you understand the changes that need to take place and also how to deal with your own anxiety when it does arise instead of vomiting into the relationship. Fix that shit helps you fix your relationship if there's any fighting going on. This is the book that brings you to zero conflict in your relationship. Resolution. Resolution is such a beautiful word. Everything will be resolved in such a beautiful functional way. Uh, manage your emotions, manage your behaviors, understand your partner, don't be reactive to them, don't ride their emotional roller coaster, um, keep yourself steady and happy and okay, uh, and then also resolve conflict in a way that doesn't create defensiveness, in other words, uh, doesn't cause a fight. So the kiss one, the kiss one is after the first kiss. After the first kiss, solidify your new relationship, make it rock solid get all the fighting out of your relationship custom made if you're codependent if you guys are fighting because you're making your partner your purpose it's time to make your purpose your purpose so this book answers two questions what is my purpose and how can i monetize it so you start getting paid doing what you love uh dating 101 parents i did write this for sex ed for high schools so get this for your teenagers. Also nerds are gonna love this. This is understanding the drives, behaviors, and emotions behind love. Guess I'm ordering another one, you're so cute. Custom made for you, my love. I love it, love it. You're gonna love that book. Custom made is a workbook. Make no mistake, make no mistake. Custom made is a workbook. You will be doing exercises at the end of every chapter because I get you diving deep into yourself. Uh, fake love need not apply how to avoid posers losers scammers and predators this is a free ebook in the link to my bio if you want it uh, just click that free book button say yes to goodness um 10 steps to complete and happy you how to be happy both in and out of a relationship what did you and your husband used to fight about insecurity my insecurity he's not insecure he's very confident um and i was very confident um uh, but um, being in the relationship with him did really shake me to my core because, and, and here's the thing, like, like I had to build a lot of confidence myself, like social anxiety, I had to, I had to fix that. Um, choosing the wrong partner, I had to fix that. Uh, I was in a fairly good place-ish when I met him, um, but his situation was uh, extremely disconcerting. He has a baby mama and she um was not over him not over him and there was a lot of things that he was doing to make her happy and so uh, that collision was really creating a lot of insecurity in me and i vomited that into the relationship like crazy uh how do i do the hot single mom life summer you tell me use that no kissing for three months dating rule that's really gonna have you do the hot single mom life summer 
I get anxiety and panic attacks when me and my partner argue. How do I fix that? So grab fix that shit. This does teach you how to shrink your amygdala, which is your fight or flight, which is stress, fear, and anxiety. Also, you can um, do the methods in there that give you like advanced anxiety reduction techniques. So, uh, and you'll also learn how to resolve conflict in a way that doesn't cause a fight or argument. So this is gonna be a great fix for that, or you can come get coaching. Parents are kind of upset boyfriend isn't getting vaccinated, but I respect his, de his decision. I don't know what to do. Are you an adult? You can make your own decisions. What advice would you give if a man looks at a woman online but doesn't interact with them? There's nothing wrong with looking. There's nothing wrong with looking. We we don't need to micromanage our partner's eyeballs. It's, it's okay to look. It's the interaction that's like, okay, hey, you know what? You're seeking the attention of other girls. You're going, hey, I'm here checking you out. You should know I'm checking you out. How do I co-parent with a narcissist? So Fix That Shit is a book that does help you co-parent uh, in a functional way because using the tools in this book will help generate peace and cooperation. Well, which one helps learn to avoid getting into relationships with narcissists? No more assholes. Any tips for dating someone who lives in another state but visit, visits frequently for work? Uh, so if you're asking how to have a long distance relationship, uh, I do have a long distance guide that's free for you to download in the link tree in my bio. Thank you for all you do here on TikTok and everywhere else. You're so welcome. Uh, uh, a guy I have a thing for, a thing with, is going on a date with someone else. I don't want that, but uh, don't want to cut it off. So, so be in a relationship with somebody who's not in a relationship with you. Keep fucking somebody who wants to fuck other people. That's completely up to you. I'm not here to tell you what to do. You are always free to do what you want. But when you're tired of getting played, grab no more assholes. Uh, I'm concerned about why my partner tries to make me jealous on purpose. He says he loves doing it. <laughs> Sounds like you need no more assholes. <clears throat> How do you deal with a guy that wants to get into a relationship ASAP? Use a no kissing for three months dating rule. No kissing, no sex, no sleepovers for three months. If he can't respect that, goodbye motherfucker. This is somebody who cares more about what they want than what you want and how you feel. What pushed you to go this route? What what really made this click for you? I've been doing this for over 20 years already. Um, and so it was just like, I didn't go to it, it came to me. And um, when it was time for me to transition to a new career, I went, you know what? I'm a natural, why not? I'm a natural. How come guys want to admit they cheat? Uh, when my mom as, would ask me, did you eat the chocolate chips? I would say, no, I didn't because I didn't want to face the consequences. Guys, who wants a notification when I go live? Say, I do. Uh, Nathan want to spend time. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I love this. I love this exclamation mark. He really is so smart. LOL. Have fun, exclamation mark. I love my clients. My clients are the bomb, the bomb, the bomb. That's beautiful, really. You're really a sauce fucking gangsta. <laughs> love it, I'm gonna own it. Uh, and I want a notification. Okay, those of you who want a notification when I go live, click my picture up here once or twice, you're gonna get a pop-up, and the pop-up is a bell. Click on the bell. When you do that, say, I just did. 
How do you know when looking is too much, if that makes sense? Is there such thing? Um, if they're interacting, right? If they're interacting, that's too much. Hey, the free book link and other free downloads isn't working. It's redirecting to a clothing site. Uh, what's the best way to tell someone you aren't reciprocating the same feelings for them? All of them are redirecting to a clothing site. Is anybody else having that problem? If I've got like free stuff in the link to my bio. Does anybody else want to try any of those, uh, those notification to dump? Uh, anybody else want to try, like there's, there's a free meditation guide. There's a free book. Um, there's a free long distance relationship guide. Anybody want to try those? <laughs> you're adorable. And, and see if you're getting redirected somewhere weird. I did. Welcome. Are my books on Audible? No, because Audible is a pirate. Uh, they want to take over 70% of each sales commission. So mama says no, because mama ain't got no pimps. Uh, so you can get fix that shit in audiobook, but only through the link chain in my bio. What's the best way to tell someone you aren't reciprocating the same feelings for them? I used to say to my husband, you know I don't love you. You know I don't love you. Woo, got my notifications on. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, those of you who are turning on notifications, do take a minute to go into your settings on TikTok and go into your notifications there. Turn on your notifications for when your favorite content creator goes live. Uh, also, turn on your notifications on your phone settings to get push notifications from TikTok. Ba, 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 ba. Hi love, comma. If you wanted to book a coaching session, I can help you understand how to navigate this. Tis on getting over someone that's not good for you. Come back queen is a book that helps you move forward. It took me to your YouTube when I clicked on the free, on the free meditation guide uh, to my YouTube channel. Say yes to goodness. Uh, do you do self-help type books or is everything about a relationship of some sort? Um, so uh, this is self-help on finding your purpose and monetizing it. This is self-help on how to have a happy life. Um, yeah, so I go beyond that, but meditation guide works at least. I'm gonna have to test, I'm gonna have to test those links. I, I'm gonna, I'll, it's interesting that it, it the, the, the free meditation guide should take you to a, um, a page that has, uh, different options on it. I'm gonna have to check those out. If I go, see, the thing is, if I go on TikTok while I'm doing a live, it's gonna blitz my live. Maybe I should, I don't know, maybe I should just go and do it. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I do a coaching giveaway every month. A one hour coaching session giveaway every month. Pretty sure my boyfriend is a narcissist. Should I tell him? If so, what would be the best way to say it? Um, if you're not sure, you can come get a coaching session. If he is, then it's it's not about saying, hey, you're a narcissist. It's this relationship isn't right for me. And I need to go. Um, right? Don't stay in a relationship with somebody who's dysfunctional and selfish um, and doesn't care about anybody but themselves. That's just dumb. 
Uh, you want to get into a relationship with a generous long-term thinker, not get into a relationship and go, okay, how are we going to make you fit what I need, right? That's not what we do. That's not how you do it. Okay, what is your strongest opinion on entering into the self-help journey for beginners? What will really pack a punch? Starts with meditation. Meditation shrinks your amygdala. That's your fight or flight. That's stress, fear, and anxiety. How much are these books? Depending on where you go buy them. So you can go check out Amazon and, and see what they're priced at because Amazon will do sales. So I don't know how much they are right now. The 12-week program, can you pick what class you want to pay for? So here's the thing. Um, the 12 week program is the classes are, are free. They're free. Uh, I said I was going to do 70 for 75% off the classes. I'm actually going to do the classes free for the people who sign up for the membership. The people who aren't in the membership, the classes are going to be $149. Um, but for the people who are signed up for the membership, you can go to every single class for free. How to make a man like you uh you you have to match them so uh like attracts like ambitious hardworking people are attracted to ambitious hardworking people confident people are attracted to confident people so who is the person you want study them know who they are and be the kind of person who matches them love the purple shirt thank you hello my love licky dogs hello lovely uh, what's your best advice on letting my guard down to a very sweet and loving partner? I would say read Fix That Shit and do what's in that book to reduce anxiety. It's after the click to download page. When I click, it redirects to the click to down. What? Uh, and which button was that? Which button was that? Sold. I love it. I love it. Um, I'm signed up. Good, good, good. I want to be just like you. I love it. Love it. Love it. Um, that was the med that was the meditation, right? That was on the free meditation guide page. Love it. I love it. Uh, tone of voice important. Yes. Um, but yours, right? Ignore them. Don't ride their emotional roller coaster. You need to stay steady. You need to control yourself. You need to be in charge of your own emotions. Make your emotional stability independent of other people's behavior. Uh, any of the download links. All right, guys, I, I need to go. I need to go fix something. I need to go fix something, my loves, and I have to get off to go do that. Um, so I'm going to give you guys one more chance to set yourself up to get a notification when I come back on live. Uh, so click my picture up here once or twice. You're going to get a pop-up in the pop-up is a bell. Um, I'm going to go do some things and then come back. So you do want to get that notification when I come back. So when you click that bell, say I just did. So I know uh, to give you a chance um, to get yourself set up before I go. Communication without coming across as annoying and letting him breathe. That is fix that shit, my love. You want to do everything that's in that book in order to achieve what you're talking about there. After free book and after entering email, then click to download. And it redirects. I don't know. This. Should you be nice to them always or match their energy? Uh, make your behaviors independent of other people's behaviors. You choose to do the right thing because it's the right thing to do. boyfriend just got a job that includes some long distance any advice on keeping our connection i have a free guide for you for long distance relationships in the link tree in my bio um your links are okay oh my links are okay are my links okay can somebody can somebody check this can somebody go check my free like the free meditation guide somebody go download the free meditation guide um Go, go, go download that free meditation guide. Can somebody go do that? Links are good. Be right back. All right. All right. I'm going to wait for you. I love how you guys are like my army. You are amazing. I appreciate you so much. I have no idea. 
the meditation one is fine. You, you guys, so you guys were able to download the meditation guide that happened for you. Can you download? Can somebody download? Yeah, okay. All right. Oh, somebody did. Links work. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Uh, that's interesting. Interesting. Okay. I don't need to go. I don't need to go anywhere. We're going to stay right here. We're going to stay right here. We're going to have some fun. Um, I will, I will go back to work later, but I don't need to go right now. Do -do. Do -do -do -do. It's okay. <laughs> Yay. Good, good, good. Thank you, my love, for checking. Thank you for checking. Hello, new to your videos. Welcome, Caitlin. Welcome, Caitlin. So which TikTok brought you here? What is the TikTok that made you go, ooh, I gotta see what this girl's all about? What was that, what was that magic moment for you? <gasps> Kaylin, thank you for the roses. So super sweet. You guys are so good to me. You're so good to me. How do you know if you found the right person for you? Uh, the relationship advice, yes. So, um, in No More Assholes are 12 character traits that help you understand if they're a selfish short-term thinker or a generous long-term thinker. Uh, if you want, yes. Oh, you're, <clears throat> that's hilarious. So, they need to pass the 12 character traits. They need to be a generous long-term thinker. They need to be hardworking and loyal. Uh, they need to practice the three Ps, which is protect, profess, provide. And they need to make you laugh more than anybody else. If you find that, that's the one, baby. <clears throat> it's not downloading. It opens my web browser, but nothing happens. I find several books for women with boyfriend trouble concerns. Do you have advice for a reverse of roles? So a book for a man on how to deal with women. Is that, is that what you're asking? Um, so I have a dating book for men, uh, which is the perfect play. It's this one here. And I'm, I am writing Fix That Shit for Men that's coming out in August. Uh, it's not an instant download. You have to enter your email to receive uh, the the download. Yes. Yeah. You do have to enter your email to receive the download. You're welcome. Hello, lovelies. Hello, all my new loves. Hello, my new people. I subscribed just now to, I love that, told me. I love it. Uh, I found you as I was going through a grief heartbreak. Yes. Yeah, we're here for that. We're here for that. We're here for the moving forward. I'm, I'm all about the, let's go. All about the empowerment, all about the forward movement, about the momentum, about the growth, the evolution. Uh, do you have anything on arguments and how to handle better? Yes, my love is Fix That Shit. Fix That Shit is the book that reduces conflict in your relationship. Brings it to zero if you're with a generous long-term thinker who loves you. Donovan. Love my coaching session to open my eyes to so much. I will definitely be getting another and be recommended this to my friends and family. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, how do you buy or get my books? So you can get my books on Amazon. Amazon is the best place. I get a little bit more. You can buy them anywhere you buy books online, but I get a little bit more when you get them off Amazon. Uh, if you want an audio book, you can only get that through the link tree in my bio. Uh, the smallest things get blown up and I don't get it. It may be that you're with a selfish short-term thinker. It may be that you're with a generous long-term thinker, but not understanding how to relationship in a functional way. 
So if you're with a generous long-term thinker, get fix that shit. If you're with a selfish short-term thinker, dump the motherfucker, get no more assholes, and get yourself a generous long-term thinker. Because with a selfish short-term thinker, you can do all the right things, but you don't get a good relationship. <clears throat> Best way to move on, stop poking yourself in the eye and get comeback queen to heal your heart. How do you deal with someone who always takes the blame? It's not fair to them. Uh, I would suggest a coaching session for that. How do you date after losing a spouse of 27 years forever grieving? I understand that. Uh, first suggestion, take a full year before um, getting out and finding another relationship again. You don't have to take a full year before having some fun if you know what i mean but for a relationship take a full year and go through each anniversary the birthday the christmas the valentine's day the new year's day you know your wedding anniversary do all of those grieve every single individual one properly if you have a partner if you're trying to start a relationship when you grieve an anniversary the ghost of your your ex part your your right your your last relationship right um the the ghost of them is there and this new person is feeling the ghost there and they feel like a third wheel as you go through your grieving process on those particular days and it's not just the day that you grieve it's the week before it's the week after so um let yourself have that grieving process without worrying about someone else's feelings or without someone feeling like they don't quite belong in your life at this point because you're grieving somebody who passed who was important to you so have fun go scratch your itches if you want to do that there's nothing wrong with that but give yourself a full year of going through your anniversaries before bringing another person into your life as a relationship is my recommendation uh we're where we'd be overdue for arguments. I'm a meditator now. Is it possible he's in his head? Uh, we'd be overdue. Um, is so I'm not quite sure, but I think what you're saying is that you're it's saying fight o'clock, but you guys aren't having a fight because you're following what's in fix that shit. Um, it is possible he's in his head, but so what? Let him go through his thought process. Let him go through his emotional process. You don't need to ride his emotional roller coaster. Stay steady. Stay non-reactive. Stay the course. Don't fall into a fight. Download isn't happening. Already tried a few times. Okay. I'll take a look at that. What's a selfish, no, selfish long-term thinker? No. Selfish short-term thinker versus generous long-term thinker. Selfish short-term thinkers are not ready for a relationship. They're not relationship material. They are selfish and they're not long-term planners. You don't want those for a relationship. For a relationship, you want a generous long-term thinker, somebody who comes to a relationship to be a contributor and somebody who's willing to make long-term plans and follow through on those. Uh, mine is always about him and arguments but doesn't want to see my view. I would use fix that shit because that's actually quite normal, but with some better communication tools, you can you can turn that around. Mm -hmm. How we forgot our second anniversary, red flag or no? No, not a red flag. I've been with my husband for 15 years. I still don't know when his birthday is. On our ninth wedding anniversary, the day after, my husband said, wasn't it our anniversary yesterday? And I went, oh yeah. So no, not necessarily a red flag. Fight o'clock, I'm good. He's just kind of withdrawn a bit, that's okay. I talk about this and fix that shit. Um, I talk about how your brain says fight o'clock because it cycles on the habits that you formed and one of those habits is fighting if you've been doing it for a long time. So when fight o'clock comes around and you feel that tension, then just get through the moment. Don't give in to a fight. Even if they try and trigger you, don't let it happen. They're seeking the familiar even if it's wrong for them. You can be the emotional leader and not let a fight happen. Stay strong, my love. My partner has some kind of anxiety to fix an argument and I need space. It's a big problem in fights. Get fixed that shit. Read this book together, my love. Or you guys can come get coaching with me.
A boyfriend of 10 years had an emotional affair with a co-worker. We had the house dog plans for marriage kids. Uh oh. I can never remember our wedding anniversary either. <laughs> That's so cute. We're going to have our 10th wedding anniversary in January. We're actually going to celebrate it. Uh, and I'm in Canada. Uh, we're going to celebrate it. And I, I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm like, I want to make it a big party, but like not like big with lots of people, but I really want to make it like, um, like a wedding wedding, but without the wedding. So, uh, you know, the catered meal, the speeches, the DJ, the first dance, um, I want to do all those traditional things that I didn't do at either of my weddings because that just wasn't who I was then. But now that I'm 10 years into this marriage, I want to do the cake. I want to cut a cake together. Like I really want to do something um, cel celebratory, right? Um, I, w I didn't celebrate my first wedding. It was such a hassle to do. Uh, I didn't celebrate my second wedding because it was a leap of faith. Uh, seriously all day long it's ser uh, wedding days it freaks you out anyways so um so on our 10th wedding anniversary i really i want us to like everybody dresses up everybody looks spiffy and good and we got we got the dj we got the music we got the lights we got the food we got the speeches um i'm still on the pringles cans uh i am the one with fix with the the fix the argument anxiety fix that shit is helping me good 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 i love it maria followed the host thank you brandon followed the host thank you welcome welcome my loves so when i order this book do we read together or read myself and update him on what we need to do so here's the thing um when i started doing what's in fix that shit i didn't even tell my husband what i was doing i just did it um, and then I was able to say to him when he was trying to poke me into a fight, I was able to say, I don't want to fight anymore. I've been, I've been meditating, shrinking my amygdala, reducing my capacity for stress, fear, and anxiety, reducing my, uh, you know, like, like taking the fight out of me basically. And, um, I just, I, I, I don't want to fight anymore. Hi Chantel, I'm an LDR. How much is too much communication, especially in a day? If they are tired, right? If it's too much for them, it's too much. If it's too much for you, it's too much. It depends on the people. You get to draw your own boundaries. But if it's too much for anybody, it's too much. And here's the thing. You can communicate all you want. Release the expectation. If you're communicating to get a response, that's a manipulation. If you just want to say something, then just say it. Release the outcome. Get you know, Go back to whatever it is you're doing. And so when you order fix that shit, um, you, it, it's up to you. You can read it together, um, but don't tell your partner what to do. You want to model. So do the behavior. Don't demand that they change. Do the behavior. Be the change. Lead it. Model the behavior so that they see the effect it has and are inspired to grow alongside you. Uh, can I ask a question regarding your IG pics video? Sure. My husband puts forth no effort and makes me bitter. Then my bitterness becomes his excuse. Come get a coaching session, love. This is exactly what you need coaching for. Uh, Sheen Universe, thank you for fa thank you for the rose. Norman, thank you for following. Caitlin, send finger heart. Thank you, my love. In some arguments or problems, my boyfriend doesn't apologize at all and it hurts the most. You do need fix that shit um, because, uh, because an apology is a gift. If you, if you give a, a three-part uh, three apology, it's something that you give and you release the outcome. You do it because it's the right thing to do. I admit my wrongs but he does it in his own way to apologize. It's not asking too much. So first of all, your apology is a gift. It's not, I apologize, so you need to apologize. In other words, what you just said is, I'm, I'm manipulating you. I did this so you can give it back. That's, that's manipulation. You don't want to do manipulation. Um, if you guys need to communicate better, then get fixed that shit. You guys can read this book together, better understand how to navigate your relationship. 
or you can come get coaching so I can better understand your relationship and what's happening and give you more precise tools on how you should be navigating this, including scripts. Uh, kind of bothers me, but I don't understand human nature. Dating 101, all my books are all about human nature if you want to understand human nature better. I do have a what book is right for me quiz in the link tree in my bio if you want to know where to start. What are some ways to show my girlfriend reassurance that I only have eyes for her? Uh, so you can have her write a cheat sheet. Uh, say, baby, let's sit down together and write a cheat sheet on what I say and do to prove to you that I love you and are devoted to you. And if you go into an insecure state, you can go back to your cheat sheet and remind yourself of what you're forgetting in that moment. What if they're trying to shut down during an argument? Uh, so again, coaching or fix that shit. Uh, without doing a coaching session, I really can't give you a more precise answer than that. Um, because this isn't professional advice. This is worth every single penny you pay. So without details, I really can't give you professional advice. A guy and I were intimate for a few months. Now he's telling me he just wants to be friends. Advice, yeah, use that no kissing for three months dating rule. If you want a relationship, like if you, it, like if you wouldn't be bothered by this if all you wanted was was the um, the physicality without the relationship, but you're bothered because you went into this wanting a relationship, but you weren't clear about that. You didn't use a no kissing for three months dating rule saying, I'm looking for a relationship. I want to make sure I choose the right partner. So I'm doing no kissing, no sex, no sleepovers for three months to see if he would walk away because all he wanted was the physicality. Um, so now you're upset because you've been giving him everything he wanted, but now he doesn't want to give you what you want. So you do need to get no more assholes. You need to use that no kissing for three months dating rule stop getting caught up with people until you know who they are and what they're there for. Donovan, Donovan, getting yourself a coaching session. Uh, where's a good place to order my books? Off Amazon. Amazon is the best place. Um, if you want an audiobook, fix that shit as an audiobook, but you can only get it through the link to my bio. Uh, which one of your books would help with communication and infidelity? It would be Fix That Shit. That Girl Followed the Host. Welcome. Ian Followed the Host. Welcome, lovely. My husband keeps cheating on me, keeps promising he will change, and then gets mad at me. Dump the motherfucker! Dump the motherfucker! Keeps cheating on me. Lady, you are staying for a pattern. You are staying for a pattern. I want you to go look yourself in the mirror and go, I am staying for this shit. I'm, I'm, I'm permitting this shit because every time he does it, I stay, which means go ahead. I know this is a pattern. He's done this more than three times. And I, so I know this is a pattern now and I keep staying and that's on me. I want you to go take responsibility for that because when you own the fact that this is happening because you are staying here, you are going to get tired enough of it to say, I'm out of here. So dump the motherfucker, keeps cheating, keeps promising he'll change, and then he gets mad at me. So he's a cheater and a gaslighter and abusive. Get the fuck out. Be done with this. Be done with it today. Today. How do I communicate what I want without it sounding like I'm trying to manipulate? Uh, you've got to start with fix that shit. You've got to start with fix that shit because you have to start with the perspective of what you should be wanting. Just because you think you want it, doesn't mean it's right. Just because you have an emotion, doesn't mean that emotion is right. Uh, so before you start asking for what you want, start learning how to manage your own emotions and thoughts. Uh, what are some ways I can reassure her that I only have eyes for you? So we talked about that, the cheat sheet. Do you have a book for attachment styles? I don't do attachment styles. I think that's bullshit. Um, you can change your brain structure and your DNA, which means you don't need a label. Uh, so here's here's attachment style theory, right? Theory. Here's attachment style theory. Hey, uh, so what's what's bugging you? What's bugging you? What do, what do you think is going wrong? Okay, here's your label. Okay, now let's talk about the behaviors that are going to help you be happy. 
That's attachment style theory. That label made you feel shitty. If it was like anxious attachment, oh no, I'm, I'm anxiously attached. I'm so damaged, right? When should I disclose this? When should I tell people I'm an anxious attachment person? Here's my way. Hey, let's talk about what is making you unhappy. Now let's talk about the behaviors that are gonna get you what you want. Exact same thing, no label, unnecessary. I don't have books on attachment styles because you don't need to label yourself. You need to look at your behaviors and then do the behaviors that are gonna get you the outcome that you want. That's it. Where do I go to book a session with you and my husband? Uh, yes, I do that. Yes, I do. I do couples coaching. Um, you can come alone. You can come as a couple. You can bring your dog. I don't care. This is your hour. Show up as you want. If you want to book a coaching session, go to my bio, click on the link tree, click the coaching button. It takes you to a page. Read that carefully. If this is right for you, you can go ahead and book yourself in by following the instructions. My boyfriend has a wandering eye. He loves me 100% and acts on it every day. I don't question that, but I don't like other women knowing he finds them attractive. He can look all he wants. There's nothing wrong with looking. Um, it's the interacting, liking, commenting, DMing, following. That's where we set boundaries if you're not comfortable with that. But do not be so obsessed that you need to micromanage their eyeballs. Not okay. Not okay. You need to have more security than that. Um, if you have trouble with that, come take my No More Insecurity program. Uh, my husband isn't great at expressing or showing emotions. I never feel that. So men are not like us. They don't express. They don't express the way we do. So Donovan is getting a session at 3.30. Okay, so guys, just so you know, I got a coaching session at 3.30. Um, so men don't speak their emotions. They show their emotions. I would suggest you get Fix That Shit to help you understand how he operates as a man how you can get more by creating emotional security in your relationship. When there's emotional security in your relationship, they do talk more, they do emote more, they are more affectionate, they do spend more time with you, they do more for you. Uh, how can you prevent yourself from feeling silenced by over-talking during fights by just simply not saying anything? Reduce your anxiety. Right, so you gotta get fixed that shit to reduce your anxiety and learn how to manage and control your behaviors. One of the behaviors that you're going to use is choose silence, capital C, capital S. This is a behavior, choose silence. So when you feel like you wanna do that, simply don't. Don't tell me you can't control your own body. That's not a conversation we have here. We never talk about our lives as though we have no control. You can choose silence, everything is a moment. You've had moments where you're really happy. You've had moments where you're really sad. You've had moments of everything else in between. Everything is a moment. So if you feel compelled to feel the sil to fill the silence, choose silence, let the moment pass, the pressure will ease. I appreciate you too. Uh, oh my God. What book is best to decide if I should break up with my boyfriend? No more assholes. No more assholes. Oh my goodness. Uh, is discipline punishment? Of course. What do I do if I'm expecting my significant other? Uh, he told me to quit bitching and get an abortion. Uh, girl, get a coaching session. I can't do this one on a live. Sorry, it's too complicated. Uh, you're across the country from me. Would you ever do a Zoom or video call? All of my sessions are on Zoom, my love. All my sessions are on Zoom. It doesn't matter where in the world you are. You can do a coaching session with me because they are all virtual. I coach clients from Denmark to New Zealand and everywhere in between, everywhere in between. So yes, my love, if you want to get a coaching session, go to my bio, click on the link tree, click that coaching button. Follow the three steps to book yourself in for a session. I just booked my coaching session. Is This is you, my lovely Donovan. Yes, 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 yes. We're going to talk uh, soon. Um, we're going to talk in a half hour. I love it. Uh, so my session prices depends on what you get. So if you want to look into the sessions, Caitlin, thank you. If you want to look into the sessions, 
uh, go to my bio, click on the link tree, click that coaching button, take a look at that um, and see what's right for you. I've got options. I've got the No More Insecurity program. It's gonna help you uh, really reduce that insecurity, overthinking, um, fear, jealousy, increase your confidence, increase your courage, increase the intimacy and love in your relationship. If you're with a generous long-term thinker who loves you, um, by the way, if it turns out you're with a selfish short-term thinker, we'll turn those sessions into how to move forward and choose the right partner. No problem. We can pivot on that. Not a problem at all. I've got the five sessions plus support. That means in between sessions, you get to email me. So some of you guys noticed I was uh, sending some emails today. That's one of my clients who's got the five sessions plus support. So in between sessions, it's what should I do next? How should I phrase this? How should I understand this message? She'll, you know, you can send me screenshots, right? What do I need to understand from this? How should I reply to this? So, um, you know, if, if we need to get you online, we'll write your bio. We'll get you going. But, uh, yes, it says, my girlfriend told me I have a wandering eye. Uh, I've been with my boyfriend for five years. He hasn't popped the question yet. What is that? I don't know unless I dig into your story uh, and what's going on. Uh, do you coach women about bad body image? Yes, I'm self-conscious and I want to stop caring what other people think. Yes, that's that's courage and anxiety. Absolutely, I coach people. Hello, Michelle. Hello, lovely. Uh, what if you're the only son of a mom who was too close to you? Short side of the triangle, right? You have to set those boundaries and you have to be firm. She's helped me. Michelle, you're beautiful. Uh, I was never aware, but I want to change it or at least do things to reassure her that she's for me. Yeah. So do a cheat sheet with her. Everything you say or do to prove to her that you love her and are devoted to her. Get her fix that shit as well so that she understands how to navigate her feelings and reduce her um, reduce her anxiety. Do, 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 do. You, you can get her a coaching session, by the way. Um, gentleman with a girlfriend who's insecure, you can get her a coaching session, see if I can help her out. Miss mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nadeibson followed the host. Welcome. Where do we book a session with you? Go to my bio, click on the link tree, click that coaching button, and uh, read what's on that page. Follow the instructions for booking yourself in. Yay, I love catching you live. Hello, Kelly. I need a session. Come get your session. Is going back to exes good or ever work? Uh, my husband and I broke up a few times, so I certainly did go back to an ex, and it did work out because we've been together for 15 years now. We haven't had a single fight in five years, so we are doing okay, but it's all about who and it's all about what you do once you guys get back. I, I wouldn't recommend going back to an ex without getting a coaching session, um, just so you know. I would not recommend it without getting a coaching session. <clears throat> so I can do an assessment and then give you the tools and scripts you need to bridge that gap and get it started on the right foot. My husband and I broke up for nine months, happily married. Uh, does it ever work out to go back to a cheater? Uh, so uh, here's the thing. If they're a serial cheater, hell fuck no. If it was a one-off and it was a mistake, maybe that's recoverable. Get your sessions. It's so worth it. When you know, you know, Donovan. I booked one. I really need this. Yes, my love. I love this. Good, good, good. How can I put myself out there when doing remote work? Out there when doing remote work? Oh, like how can you date when you're long distance? How can, is that it? Uh, any surefire signs they're losing interest? Um, like, like, like not wanting to be physical with you is, is a pretty good one. Princess. Uh, 
Caitlin, Caitlin booking herself in for a session. Caitlin, booking yourself in for a session. Caitlin, oh wait, did you pre-purchase? Caitlin, don't forget to uh, purchase your session unless you're, let me see. I just booked, Caitlin, did you purchase your session? You need to purchase your session in order for um, in order for the booking to be valid, you need to purchase your session. Okay, so go back to that page. Um, so go, go click that coaching button. It takes you to a page. You're going to see there's a part that says options. There's a drop down window. So choose, uh, choose what you want for your option and then purchase that. And that cements your session time. But without the purchase of the session, your session time is invalid. Summer's coaching session, sure. My boyfriend doesn't understand why it's taken me three years to get over that he cheated, but he hasn't since. Uh, should I move past it? Yes, yes, yes. Um, if you need help with that, come get a coaching session. Uh, how did you know you wanted to marry your current husband? Did you have any doubts from your last marriage? No, um, I had no doubts that my husband is a loyal, devoted, um, loving, committed person. Um, it, it was just an extremely difficult relationship for both of us because of the extern, ext, externations, what is that word? External circumstances. Um, so uh, thank you, Licky Dogs, for being my helper. Uh, so I, I didn't, I didn't have, I didn't, it was a leap of faith because we had fought for so long. There's so much fighting. It, de it definitely was a leap of faith, but we, we managed to make it work because I started doing what's in fix that shit. Uh, what do you think about people who don't want to get married, but want to build a life together as long, like if you don't want to get married, you need to match with somebody who doesn't want to get married. That's a fundamental value. Fundamental values are, the, are those things that our partner has to be aligned with us on. So if you, if you want to get married, you need to match with somebody who wants to get married, not somebody who wants to build a life but doesn't want to get married because you're going to sacrifice the fundamental value or you're going to make them sacrifice the fundamental value. Which one of you is going to resent the other one? Which one of you is going to be miserable because you wish you'd stuck to your fundamental value? What do you think about people who don't write? <clears throat> people can, here's the thing. Uh, anybody can build a life together, matching their fundamental values. If somebody, I get a lot of women here who are like, you know, I've been with them for eight years and we're not married. He says it's not a priority. Well, girl, you got in a relationship with somebody who didn't match your fundamental values and that's why you're unhappy. Uh, any advice on being with a person with an avoidant attachment style? Uh, get rid of the label. We talk about behaviors here. We don't do that attachment style theory labeling. I find it unnecessary when you can change your brain structure and your DNA. In essence, changing literally who you are. We don't need to label you when you can change. We don't need to label you when you can change. My boyfriend cheated two years ago and though he says he's changed, my trust issues are big but I feel bad about it. If you want help with that, you can come get a coaching session. Hey, you, yeah. Can you say something about dismissive invalidation? Um, so I, I, often, you know, really what that can be is 
you're trying to talk about what's bothering you and the person is like okay yeah but i got all these things i think now's the time for me to talk about them too and so each of you are trying to talk about your issues at the same time but nobody's hearing the other person because nobody's willing to take turns nobody's willing to be the listener first so if that's something that needs to be overcome i do suggest you get into fix that shit and use the what else communication exercise that's in there What should I do if my significant other hides messages from his friends, friends that are female and has a cheating history? Dump the motherfucker. Dump him. Dump him. He's a shady motherfucker. He has to go. This is a selfish short-term thinker. Goodbye. Goodbye. Stop staying for that. With the insecurity phases. So insecurity is something that tends to hit when we realize we are so emotionally invested that it would hurt to lose that person. And so we get a sphincter clench. We, we, we think if we hold on tight enough, we won't lose that person. Uh, what we don't realize is we're literally crushing the soul out of our relationship. I love no more assholes. I wish I found that book sooner. Ninja do followed the host. Thank you. I signed a one year lease for one bedroom apartment and discovered next day cheating since day one of relationship. Um, so are they on the lease? <laughs> With your degree was schooling hearts first. Well, I didn't go get a degree um, because I was working. I decided to, uh oh, uh, I decided to work for myself. And so me as an employer wasn't asking for a degree. Uh, I did happen to get a award in life coaching, but uh, yeah, no, the reason why I dropped out of school was because I was like, man, like I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my money. Like I learned so much faster on my own because going to school means me sitting on this, like studying the same piece, like reading the same fucking shitty piece of information five times just to pass a stupid test, just to get a grade, just to get a piece of paper. Such a waste of time, such a waste of time. So once I realized I didn't need the piece of paper because I was going to work for myself, not for an organization, I was like, adios, I'm going to take my money and my time and do my study and build my platform and get myself out to you guys and stop wasting time. Um... You're efficient. Yes, I am. I dropped out of my second year. Advice on enjoying my present relationship and letting go of expectations on him proposing. Um, meditation. Meditation really helps you do that. Release expectations and be in the moment and be present and be more appreciative and grateful. If you want to get started on meditation, there's a free meditation guide button in the link to my bio. This is a starter page for meditation. X guy kisses me when then tells me we are just friends, but blocks my messages if I cancel on him. Dump him. Dump him. Goodbye. Block him. Block. Goodbye. No more games. Thank you. Next. Read no more assholes. Stop putting up with that shit. Can you work on prices for sessions? No, my love my my the time that i spent focused on you is worth every single penny i have so many people who come to me and say a one hour session with me was like a year of therapy uh, any advice on how to deal with a partner's parents being sick and life being stressful um so that does so listen there was like my husband when he moved his business from a small location that he rented to a large place that he owned. This was an incredible amount of stress on him. And I I looked at him and I said to myself, he's gonna need my support. He's gonna need me to be patient. He's gonna need me to be understanding. He's gonna need me to not need anything from him. He's going to need me to not ride his emotional roller coaster. He's gonna need me to stay steady and happy and be the safe place at the end of the day. So if you want to do that for your partner, get fix that shit so that you fully understand how to do this. Um, I would also suggest a coaching session when it's hard for you to do so, so I can help 
you through that hard spot and get you back on track. Uh, any advice for a small business and maintaining a good supportive relationship? Uh, that is a coaching session, my love. That is a coaching session. Small business owner. Yes, small business owner maintaining a good supportive relationship. Um, I would suggest a, a coaching session because there's a lot of a lot of details, a lot of things in that, a lot of tools you're going to need. You also have eight books. I have nine. So many TikToks and YouTube channel. Your prices are worth it. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, I don't have dental crowns or fillings. No, I don't. Best book to see if your partner is a long-term thinker. That would be uh, No More Assholes. The 12 Character Traits. The 12 Character Traits. Love your videos. Thank you. Zodiac Sign Scorpio. Thank you. Patience is so hard when you're used to narcissists. Yes. I help you calm that. I help you calm that stuff down though. I do. Guys, who wants a notification when I go live? Say I do. Who wants a notification when I go live? Say I do. Say I do. <gasps> okay, my loves, my I do's. Click my picture here once or twice. You're going to get a pop up. In the pop up is a bell. Click on the bell when you do that. Say, I just did. May all beings be happy. I like that. It's so inclusive. How do you know if you should meet up with someone you've been talking to when you feel safe? When you feel safe enough to do so. Yeah, I forgot about the new book. Yes, Miss Licky Dogs. Scorpio Gang. Can my appointment be moved or pushed back a little bit? What time do you need it for, my love? Miss Donovan, what time would you like that? Can a short-term thinker ever become a generous long-term thinker? No, no, no. They can if they want to. Right? So sometimes you'll meet somebody and you'll say, hey, I'm using a no kissing for three months dating rule. That person is in, in selfish short term thinking mode, but you define what it is that you need. You stick to the no, no kissing for three months dating rule. You're very clear about what sort of person you're going to get into a relationship with. In other words, the 12 character traits, you're clear about who they need to be. And they go, you know what? I want to be with her. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to be the man that she needs. And so they, they man up, they become generous long-term thinkers to be the man by your side because they want to be with you. Just did Mike. Hello, Mike. Welcome. Mike, generous Mike. Thank you, Mike. So many roses. Guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I give away a free coaching session every month. You can take part in that draw. Already did. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Precious Metals Princess followed the host. So my husband, speaking of metals, my husband... Um, so my husband bends metal and sometimes the stuff he does is for an art installation. And, um, let me see if I can show it to you. It's so cool. So he made this massive, massive wall. Oh, going to read more of your books now. Love it. Um, so let me see, DD. Um, so he, he created a massive wall and they made a light installation out of it. So this is my husband's work. So he created the metal and they and they took that wall. So he created all those all those panels. He he made all those panels with metal and then they took them and made a light installation. That's my man. Yes. Kaylee, thank you. Kaylin, thank you Kaylin. Uh, is there any advice for overthinking about your boyfriend's sister being friends with his ex? Um, your boyfriend's sister, sister being friends with his ex. Um, yes, write a cheat sheet on your boyfriend. Everything they say and do to prove to you that they love you and are devoted to you. And every time you find yourself in your imagination, 
go to your cheat sheet and remind yourself of what you're forgetting in that moment. Uh, and don't vomit on your partner over something they can't control. Uh, to be fair, I acted like an idiot. That's cute. Uh, advice for when your boyfriend wants to come back. He broke up with me three days ago. Uh, read Fix That Shit because you're going to write a three-part apology. Uh, the first part, I'm sorry for everything you know you could have done better. Second part, I realized that all the emotions your partner went through. Third part, this is my plan for not doing this again. Reading Fix That Shit is going to help you with the plan. Or you can come get a coaching session if you want to streamline that process and get your um get your how and your script today just move back hello will i get a boyfriend hello from denmark uh you will if you have faith in yourself uh get no more assholes read that book understand what it takes to get a good man uh donovan donovan says she wanted to push her appointment back but um i don't know when when i do need a coaching session we'll do soon good 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 do you do coaching sessions with married couples yes i do yeah i've done coaching sessions where like either in a long distance relationship and both of them like come from wherever they are and because all my sessions are on zoom so yeah why am I bothered by my ex, by my boyfriend's ex, ex baby and mama? We've been together for nine years. Shouldn't feel this way. Um, it is, it is normal, but I would suggest you get a coaching session to learn to deal with that. Uh, my husband has a baby mama. I completely understand. I can help you navigate this and calm your mind. Long distance advice. I have a long distance guide that's free for you in the link to my bio. Go ahead and download that. Uh, just move back 15. Okay, I see you move back 15 minutes. So uh, 345 got it got it. I wasn't putting that together Donovan I'm moving your your appointment to 345 No problem No problem lovely we can do that. Uh, right person, wrong time of thing. Everything is possible, including that. Guy says he's napping at 5 p.m. that won't respond for a day or blows off our plans. Dump, goodbye. So one of the things that you want in a partner is consistency. If he is inconsistent, stop giving him the time of day. If he's inconsistent, it's sweep him out of the way. I don't want a relationship with somebody who's inconsistent. If you're inconsistent, thank you for showing me who you are. Let's get you out of the way to clear the space for a generous long, long-term thinker who's consistent with their behaviors. He gets a goodbye. My husband le left six months ago. We were together for 10 years. He acted like everything was my fault. Uh, trying to fix a 14 year marriage. Infidelity is the main reason. What book should I get? Um, it would be fix that shit. Uh, but they have to stop being like, if it's a pattern, if, if they, if they've done it two or three times, I wouldn't be trying to fix it. Uh, because it's a pattern and you keep staying for the pattern. How early how early is too early for your significant other to say I love you? Uh, so I would wait six months before saying that. Uh, four kids with my husband, but he's very narcissistic. I don't know what to do. So I want you to ask yourself what they are witnessing, what they are witnessing. Is that what I want for them? If the answer is no, you are creating dysfunctional children because the environment you have them growing up in is dysfunctional. We are monkeys designed to imitate. Do you want them to have what they see? If the answer is no, 
then save them from that. I'm worried about my boyfriend losing feelings. Do what's and fix that shit. Create emotional security in your relationship. Understand how to be a loving, understanding uh, partner who has great communication skills. You will create gratitude in your partner. A good man never leaves a feeling of gratitude go unrewarded. He'll be so plugged in. Uh, am I glitching? He works and I'm a stay-at-home mom and homemaker. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I've seen plenty of women, five kids, five kids like seriously you go ahead and google google single mom stay at home four kids no education no job what do i do you'll see the answer just your limitations are if you want to argue your limitations you can do that all day long i'm, I'm not here to convince you that you have no limitations that's when when you decide you're done and you're ready to go let's go that's what i'm here for but if you want to argue your limitations, that's not what I'm here for. Not what I'm here for. I'm here for the people who are ready, ready to change. Um, and especially for free. I, I, I'm, I'm not going to change your mind for free. Uh, if you want to get a coaching session because you want to be inspired, you want to be motivated, you want to get on track, come get a coaching session. But for free, I, I'm not pushing you out of the nest for free. Uh, when you're ready, let's do this, but don't come here and argue your limitations because I don't do that here. Here, we come to learn and change. Behaviors versus labels. That's why I'm asking you. I'm done. Good, good. So, you're, you're stay-at-home mom. Get your shit in order. Um, go talk to a lawyer. Go talk to a lawyer. There are free lawyers. There are there are there's there's always there's always a freebie, always a freebie, um, and find out what you need to do. You're a stay-at-home mom. Guess what? You get child support. You get matrimony. Uh, any tips on how to get comfortable talking to a guy you're interested in? Yes. No more assholes, my love. No more assholes. You have to reduce your anxiety. You have to increase your courage. You have to increase your self-esteem. Um, you know how how to navigate. Um, getting what you want, asking for what you want. Absolutely, no more assholes. Uh, what book would be good for me? I'm trying to move on and do things for myself. I feel like I can't. Uh, in in a relation, so I'm not sure. Not sure exactly. I because I can't do puzzle pieces, guys. If you're asking me to do a coaching session on a live, I don't know. Um, I do have a what book is right for me quiz in the link tree in my bio. Um, so custom make can help you understand what your purpose and passion is and learn how to start monetizing it. Uh, no more asshole, like, like comeback queen can help you get over a breakup and move on emotionally from there. No more assholes helps you move into your next relationship, choosing something that's functional. Uh, my girlfriend still doesn't know how she feels about me long term after six months. Should I hold out? I think you should say, you know, I really do want to be in a relationship with somebody who's sure about me. And I would think after six months, you should feel that you you actually like know me and would have a good idea of how you feel about me. So um, do I don't I don't know what we need to do here. Like, do we need to take a break maybe so you have like some time to think? I'm a 23 year old male with a habit of procrastinating. How do I get more life experience? Um, I would actually suggest you get into custom made and, uh, and get your life experience developing your purpose. How do you really know someone is narcissistic? A narcissistic person doesn't care about anybody but themselves. How do you make a marriage work when we're both so exhausted from work and kids at the end of the day? So um, a relationship uh, succeeds because you guys have good conflict resolution skills. You're good at not riding each other's emotional roller coaster. 
uh, you're good at maintaining your self-love. So I would say get fix that shit and you're also good at making the minutes count. So use this to understand how to have a conflict-free relationship. In those minutes, those moments are gonna be much more close and intimate and loving. Also get your two kisses in a day. That's minimum two kisses a day for minimum five seconds each. Can you change a narcissist? No, you can't. You can't change anybody. Don't get into relationships with people and go, now that I'm here, you need to change. This is you getting in your own way. You need to pick somebody who matches you instead of instead of blindly getting into a relationship and then going, okay, now that I see what isn't working for me, let's change you so that it does work for me. Use that no kissing for three months dating rule and find the person who is a good match. Don't kiss to see where it goes. See where it goes and kiss the right one. Uh, how to be more confident in your relationship. Do everything that's in fix that shit. Do what is in fix that shit. I do have a website. It's canadasdatingcoach.com. We're on a break. She's visiting her folks, but I'm not certain how it'll end. If you want help with that, come get a coaching session. I separated from my husband. We've been together for 10 years. What book would be good for me? Uh, come back queen if your heart is hurting. No more assholes if you're ready to go find your next relationship. Dating as a single mom. Uh, so do get no more assholes. Do use that no kissing for three months dating rule. Don't kiss somebody until they've met your kids. So use those three months to get to know people. If somebody gets to two months and you're thinking you're gonna get into month three and maybe kiss them and start a relationship, then between month two and three, do some get togethers with your kids. Hey kids, we're gonna go meet Mark and go grab an ice cream. Hey kids, we're gonna go meet Tony and go for a walk along the beach. And see how they interact with, the, with your kids. If your kids don't like them, don't kiss them. Uh, the answer for how early is too early to say I love you is before six months. What is a pattern? Uh, anything at three. Two, you're edging on a pattern. Three is definitely a pattern. Can you help with confidence issues? 100% I can. 100% I can. Guys, who wants a notification when I go live? Say I do. Who wants a notification when I go live? Say I do. Do 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 do. Um. Honesty is typically the best approach, comma, but your answer was still okay, period. You can mention that you are definitely open to letting him pick you up as you guys get to know each other more when you see him again. I do. Okay, those of you who want a notification when I go live, click my picture up here once or twice. You're going to get a pop-up. In the pop-up is a bell. Click on the bell. When you do that, say, I just did. Caitlin, thank you for the mic drop. Caitlin, finger heart. Thank you, Caitlin. How to deal with a jealous boyfriend? You don't. You make him responsible for his imagination and the emotions and behaviors that happen as a result. So this is what you're going to say to him. I need to be in a relationship with somebody who sees me for who I am and recognizes the character and integrity and devotion that I bring to the relationship. If you are gonna get caught up in your imagination and create feelings about that, you have no right to vomit those on me. If you cannot manage your thoughts and emotions and behaviors, this is not the right relationship for me. If you need help dealing with your jealousy and insecurity, go book a session with Canada's dating coach, but I will not be your lightning rod for your imagination. I'll give you a finger heart for your amazing. You're so cute. Follow the host, back it, follow the host. Already did. I love it always, Donovan, you're adorable. Just to let everyone know I'm not okay. 
My boyfriend has been with his friends all week, but tells me he's always busy and has no time for me. So dump the motherfucker. Don't be in a relationship with somebody who's not in a relationship with you. Preaching all day, every day. How can I tell him I feel like I can't disclose our problems without a fight? Uh, I would go into fix that shit first. Do what's in fix that shit first and then have those conversations. What do you think of when a person constantly blames you for cheating and it's not true? Uh, the speech that I just gave about the jealous uh, boyfriend, that's the exact same speech you use. Hi from Ireland. Hi from Ireland. Hello, lovely. Hello, hello. It does get better, my love. Every day is a moment. Are your books available on Audible? No, because Audible wants to take over 70% commission for every sale made. Um, so my, uh, so fix that shit is an audiobook, but you could an audiobook. Boyfriend tells you that because I don't drive that it's a lot to have to come and pick me up every time. It's true. Why are you not driving? Why are you not independent? My love. Uh, or taking the bus or subway you're like so great thank you here's a question my wife cheated on me i don't want to leave how do i fix this uh you guys can come get coaching you can come get coaching that's probably the the best the best way to deal with that if the two of you came together like together in some individual coaching. So coaching apart from each other, some coaching together as well. Boyfriend tells me I don't listen to his side sometimes, but it's hard because I know what he's gonna say. So my love, uh, do dive in to fix that shit for conflict resolution tools. Conflict resolution tools, you need the process. You need all 50 chapters in this book. lovelies i'm gonna go i have a coaching session i have a coaching session coming up now well soon in 10 minutes in 10 minutes um so uh before i go i'm going to give you one more chance to set yourself up to get a notification when i go live so click my picture here once or twice you're going to get a pop-up in the pop-up is a bell click on the bell when you do that say i just did go into my bio go get yourself some freebies i have a free book i have a free long distance guide um i have a uh, a free meditation guide go get yourself some freebies if you want to get coaching uh hit that coaching button follow the three steps to book yourself in for a session um i'm gonna order your book in a session soon yes lovely um so what else what else oh come Join me on this 12-week journey, you guys. I'm doing a 12-week lifestyle journey. We're doing workouts. We're learning how to cook new foods. I'm bringing special guests. We're doing um, weekly soul sessions to teach you how to meditate, manifest, uh, create goodness in your life. Um, all kinds, there's, I'm gonna be launching all kinds of classes. You get free access to all the classes during that time. I'm gonna throw in three free coaching sessions with your membership, one every single month. I'll even, give you a discount on additional coaching sessions i really want this to work for you there's going to be so much awesomeness in this you guys it is going to be unbelievable and if you sign up for my waiting list for that early bird waiting list there's a 24 hour window where you're, you're going to get to buy this for half off um so if you guys want in on this come and get it uh so that it says 12 weeks click on that add your email to that list so that you can come take part in this it's it's going to be phenomenal like the people i have lined up below your mind below your mind blow your mind so 
Uh, how do I know the girl is the one? Thank you for what you do. You're so welcome. Uh, good luck. Hope to see you soon. Yes. Okay. Mwah. I will see you soon, my loves.